So let's keep doing. We're going to do several more of these. So a certain company's main source of income is a mobile app. The function H models the company's annual profit in millions of dollars. As a function of the price, they charge for the app in dollars. So our independent variable, this x-axis, is the price of the app. So it looks like they could choose that. And then their profit depends on what the app price was. So our profit in millions of dollars is the dependent variable, this vertical axis. And now that we understand the variables a little better, let's just analyze this. So if you set the app price to be $0, then your company will have a profit of negative $10 million. So you're going to have a big loss there. And as the price of the app increases, it looks like when it's around maybe 80 cents or something like that, that the company would break even and have $0 of profit. And then after that, as they keep increasing the price, the profit's going to go up. But there's a limit to it. It looks like at about $7, that's when they're going to reach their max profit, maybe somewhere around $38 million. But if they kept increasing the price after that, their profit's going to drop down. And it looks like just past $13 for the price that their profit's going to be $0. And then it keeps going down. So maybe around 14, you get back to where you started at this minus 10 million. And honestly, this is probably when people stop buying it. So in the beginning, you might have a lot of people buy it at this cheap price, but the price isn't that high. So they don't make a lot of profit. And then as time goes on, you still have a lot of people buying it because it's still a reasonable price and you're making a lot per person. So that's why you max out at this $7 for the app price. But then it looks like after $7 that the app just becomes too expensive for most people. And so you don't get a lot of people buying it, even though the few people that do buy it are paying all this extra money. And then as it keeps going, less and less people want it until pretty much no one wants it because it's too expensive. And so that's when you reach back to this minus 10 million where they started at. So let's now answer these questions. So this first one, greater app price always relates to greater profit. Well, that's true for half of it. Because as the app price increases here, the profit goes up. But after $7, profit goes down as app price goes up. So that's not true. And you can th make sense of that in reality, too. If the price kept going up, eventually people are going to stop buying it. Now, choice B, greater app price relates to greater profit as long as the app's price is more than about $7. Well, we just talked about that. That's not true. It's only true if it's less than $7. If it's less than $7, then greater app price does increase the profits. The largest possible profit for the company or the company can make is $7 million. So this is not correct. Because if the app price was $7, then that would reach the maximum profit. But the maximum profit is our vertical axis, and that's about $38 million for the maximum profit. And again, that's at the app price of $7. So that one's not right, but this choice D, the largest possible profit the company can make, is about $40 million. So that's right here. And it's pretty close to 40, so this one is the correct answer. And since we eliminated the three before, we pretty much knew that this would be the right one, but it does help that it actually makes sense. So let's keep going. We've got another one where the, a certain company's main source of income is a mobile app. So this one is actually the same graph, but we're going to have different questions for it. So again, the app price is in dollars, and... Like before, it looks like at a $7 app price, you do reach your maximum of this $38 million of profit. And it looks like at $0 app that you're at minus $10 million of profit. And again, when you reach $14 for your app price, you're back to that minus $10 million in terms of profit. So since we've already seen this graph and analyzed it, let's just jump into the questions. So the company's profit will be zero if they don't charge for it. So that's not true, because if they don't charge for it, their profit's going to actually be pretty negative. And that should make sense in reality, because most businesses have a lot of overhead. They have to have a factory 
if they're producing goods or maybe they had to hire a team of software engineers to actually write this app. So there's a lot of expenses that go into building the app. And that's why if they don't charge anything for it, they're going to have a huge loss. So it looks like the profit will be $0 if they charge about a dollar or 80 cents, something like that. And that's choice letter B here. So A was not right, but the profit will be $0 if they charge about a dollar, about $13. And you can see right there and right here, that's pretty close to a dollar and $13. And that's when the profit is at $0. So that one is true. Now, greater app price relates to smaller profit as long as the app's price is less than about $7. So that's not right because greater app when it's less than $7, the greater the price, the greater the profit. So this is really more than $7 because after that, as you increase this price, the profit goes down. So choice C, not correct, but D is correct because greater app price relates to smaller profit as long as the app's price is more than $7. So same sentence, but just instead of less, it's more. And after $7, if you increase the app price, you get smaller and smaller profits. So this one is true as well. So let's do one final question here. And we have the function G, which models the number of mosquitoes in millions of mosquitoes in a certain area as a function of rainfall in centimeters. So it looks like as rain increases, the amount of mosquitoes will change. And so our independent variable is the amount of rainfall, and it's measured in centimeters of rainfall. And our vertical axis here is the amount of mosquitoes, and that's going to be in millions. So let's analyze this graph. It looks like at zero centimeters of rain that you have zero million mosquitoes. So no rain in this case means no mosquitoes. And then as the rainfall increases all the way to two centimeters, the amount of mosquitoes would increase as well. In fact, if you have two centimeters of rain, you reach a maximum of four million mosquitoes. And then after those two centimeters, if it keeps raining more and more, the amount of mosquitoes looks like it's going to decrease. And in fact, when you reach four centimeters of rainfall or anything above that, you're going to have zero million mosquitoes. So it looks like if there's a lot of rain, there's no mosquitoes. If there's no rain, there's no mosquitoes. And if it reaches this ideal amount of rain for mosquitoes, this two centimeters, then it reaches a maximum of four million. So let's go to these questions, figure out which one of these are true. And the largest possible number of mosquitoes is not 2 million. We just looked at that. It's this point right here. That's 4 million, which is this next question, choice B. So A was not right, but B is correct because it does reach a maximum right here of these 4 million mosquitoes. And then C, more rainfall always relates to less mosquitoes. Well, that's not true in the first half because as rain increases, the amount of mosquitoes increases. Now, this would be true in the second half. So if they said more rainfall always relates to less mosquitoes, if rainfall is greater than two centimeters, then that would be correct. But they didn't say that. Now, this one, though, more rainfall relates to less mosquitoes as long as rainfall is less than two centimeters. That less than is not correct. So more rainfall relates to less mosquitoes as long as it's more than two centimeters. So this should be more here rather than less. Since when it's less than two centimeters, so that's this range here, as you increase the rainfall, the mosquitoes go up, not down. So this one is not correct. So choice B is our only correct answer here.